Hey there, all you Extra Life Gamers, what is up? Vinny here, back from another Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. But before I get into the actual gameplay, I just want to show you guys this quick clip. Uh, check this out, I thought it was kind of funny. Look at this, one, two, three people, Devil Man and a medic, I take the intel, none of them notice me until the end. Two rockets miss and an arrow miss, and I get away. <laughs> Son of a bitch, Vinny. So anyways, today we will be on King of the Hill Viaduct, pretty cool map, as the spy with the stock loadout, stock revolvers, stock knife, and stock invisible watch. In my opinion, the best uh, the best loadout for spy, just in my opinion, I don't really know how to explain it. Anyway, so I fail a lot here. First one, obviously, right there. That spy uh, is kind of annoying throughout this entire gameplay, and will be my demise for most of it. But, uh, I, I get some decent kills at some point, but mostly deaths. I'm usually a lot better with Spy. Anyway. Um, so let's see. Something I wanted to talk about, uh, if you haven't realized yet, in which you probably didn't, we have a Steam group now, and I will give the link right here and in the description. You can go and join that, and uh, I really recommend you do. Uh, you can put on a tag if you want to, show some support, and, um, well, basically, uh, sometimes I will probably post an announcement, uh, letting you know if I'm gonna start recording anything, and I'll definitely post an announcement when a new video is uploaded, so you can know right there first, you can be the first person to know, uh, beat all your friends, be the cool guy in the block, because you are the guy that is in the Extra Life Gamer Steam group. Why wouldn't you want to be that? I don't know why you wouldn't. So, and now you can be, which is great. Stab that soldier. Kind of cool. I go around for this heavy... Wait, actually, no I don't. But actually right here is probably kind of funny. Wait, uh, I forget this part. Oh, never mind, this is actually kind of a good... Uh, right here. So I get the teleporter, get the sentry, and I think I stab both of these people. Yep. Get him and him. So that's probably uh, the best I do all map, all that map. Which is kind of disappointing. Anyway, back on the Steam group. Um, so, yeah, you can join that. Uh, be an awesome person. Get to know when uh, new videos are posted, when... Uh, we're gonna start recording something. Big fail right here. I shouldn't have stabbed him because obviously you see what happens. Although I do manage to get away. He like spazzes out. Pretty funny. Um, so I was gonna talk about him. Uh, I'm forgetting. Uh, uh, whatever. Anyway, uh, so once again, same server as per usual. Here's the IP. And it's in the description. Again, as usual. Check this out. This was extremely stupid of me. What did you hear? I tried to sap the teleporter. I was hoping that the engineer would sap it from the unsap it from the other end and then um I could telefrag him, but that's obviously not what happened. I disguise as a spy every time. Um some people might think that's stupid, but um it tends to work out because a lot of and obviously I thought he was gonna turn the other way. Um, he didn't. Not going that way next time. So as I was saying, so I discussed as a spy, it tends to work out, uh, because, um, spies usually won't be doing anything in l unless they're behind an enemy. So if there's someone just walking around on your team, you might not spy check them just because they are, uh, and I was uh, right there, uh, that was a little infuriating. Um, so, game's about to end, and we lose, but there's still another, um, what's it called, another round right after this, so, and, uh, what we have right now is a little too short, so we keep going. Why wouldn't we? And, um, so, a tip as spy, if you want to know, never disguise as a soldier, and definitely never ever disguised as a heavy. And the reason for this is because if you haven't noticed already, when you play this game, you're um if 
finally get my well wanted kill right here with a nice nade. As I was saying, when you're disguised as a soldier or as a heavy, if you didn't know, the soldier and the heavy both move slower than the spy. And when you're disguised as them, they, um, like, you move slower as well, and you don't want that. You want to be as fast as possible when you're a spy so you can uh, chase up behind people as quickly as possible, get that stab, and get away. So, never disguise as them, and I also don't recommend disguising as a scout, because when you're disguised as a scout, you don't go as fast as a scout. You still stay at spy speed. And a lot of people can notice that, or and obviously you can't uh, double jump either. So a, a lot of times people will notice that, and that's never good. But the only good thing to disguising as a scout is that you're s you're a smaller target generally. Um, but other than that, so I disguise as spy. Sniper sometimes can be a little bit too suspicious. Um, engineer is decent. Um, Demoman is actually slower than the spy, but not by too much where it really matters. So if you really want to, go ahead and do that. And also, don't be afraid to use a re your revolver. Um, because, as you can see, well, obviously here, uh, with the crits, one shot could do 120 damage. Obviously, normally it wouldn't, but if you fail stab someone you're probably gonna die, so you might as well start shooting at them with your revolver wh while uh, you're trying to escape. Which is definitely um, something I would recommend because, uh, you know. <laughs> you want a uh, high survivability rate as possible, so I'm trying to get my revenge here. I think he okay. noticed me. But I go back up, get around, fail stab, so I run away because that was just unfortunate. Almost dead here, so I'm gonna try to go around and get the health, but sprayed by the pyro. I am of shame and sadness. Oh my gosh. Magna! Oh my god, so mad. Well, your head would have been glowing like that, you'd be left an awful And, uh, something else to talk about. Let's see. So, I'm gonna go around, see if I can, uh... find, uh... just step some of these people. So, I think I got the pyro here. No, get the scout. I fell stab on the pyro. But I managed to get the assist, which is always nice. Miss him, but... And, yeah, I missed the revolver, too. That's never good. So, going back across the point, I'm gonna talk about why I like the Invisiwatch uh, a lot, I guess you could say. Uh, it's because you can get your health by just walking over an ammo pack and get the medic there, which is cool. And I think I get the energy, too takes a little bit of chasing. That's why you want to be as fast as possible. And obviously, turned around and saw me. But anyway, so with the Invisiwatch, um, so you can just refill your cloak by walking over a dropped weapon or a uh, or an ammo pack, and you can keep going. And the Dead Ringer, I mean, that's just like a completely different playstyle. I'll use it on occasions, but not really my um. A favorite. I'll get into that later. Um, but I'm really talking about the uh, cloak and dagger and why I don't like that weapon. I used to use it too, but a lot of people use it just because they know that they can uh, stand in one place for a long time and uh, their cloak will never run out, which is, I mean, obviously a cool thing, but the problem here is how fast cloak recharges and how fast cloak, um, drains and by how fast it recharges I mean that it doesn't I'm recharge sorry, fast at all it is very slow I want you to do something just to prove what I'm saying here go on a two fort server play the spy use the regular invisiwatch cloak and go from the outside of your base to the out to right to the inside of the other team's base and I want you to see how long it takes then do it with the cloak and dagger but this time 
Uh, but make sure that you're cloaked the entire time. Obviously, don't just keep running. You know, because it's that weird thing that a lot of people do when they're just standing there. And, um... When, like, they keep walking once their cloaks run out and they're, like, translucent. Which wouldn't count. Do it and see how long it takes to do that. You're gonna see that it takes a lot longer to use the cloak and dagger. And the cloak and dagger is just proved unworthy, I guess you could say, because then obviously if you wanted you can still use uh, ammo packs to refill the cloak on the regular Invisiwatch, but you couldn't do that with the cloak and dagger, one of the flaws to that weapon. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, and that is going to be the end of the gameplay, guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I will see you guys next time. Uh, peace out, I suppose.